We've been in Venice for a year now. Do we regret it? We want to talk about the pros and cons. I like that it's got that small town feel. That did not get old to me. Still got some busyness to it during the winter for sure and somewhat congested in areas, but I don't feel like any of it was all that shocking to me. It wasn't more than I could handle and I definitely feel like that small town feels like a breath of fresh air after coming from Orlando. It's a little bit more what we were used to being from a city that had a population of 40,000 people in Wisconsin, which also had kind of a small town feel mm -hmm. to it. So we moved to the Orlando area from Wisconsin and we kept coming to Venice just to visit, just to go to the beach, go to the downtown, something to do for the day or for the weekend. The small town feel of Venice is still there for me too. Before we get into our next thought, if you're looking to move to the area, I am a realtor here in the Sarasota, Venice, Inglewood, Northport, and surrounding areas. I can definitely help you find a home here. Information for that will be in the description below. One thing that I don't like about the small town feel is that we don't have many options for shopping and I love shopping. <laughs> um, so that's a little bit of a problem. We don't have a mall. We do have some stores here and there. You got your TJ Maxx. Got TJ Maxx, which I love. <laughs> Beals, which you don't Beals, go Beals, I haven't even gone to it yet. We have TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which are like my two go-to stores. Brand new, boring. Oh to, yes, and which I just went for the first time. Our nieces and nephews call it Borington, so we because just- Because it's boring, yeah. according to them. One thing I really like is when you like the video. It would help us out a lot. It lets us know when we're doing a good job on the videos. Not as many options also restaurant-wise. There's not as much diversity with the kinds of food and things like that. Not as many big chains either. I mean, obviously you got your McDonald's, Taco Bell, stuff like that. Chili's, Applebee's. Some of the big chains, but there's other ones that we miss, I think, from Orlando. Bahama Breeze. <sighs> Love Bahama yes. Breeze. So like some of those different chains and things like that that we haven't got yet, hopefully. <laughs> and there's a little less options in terms of food as far as just different kinds of cuisine. Like we do have two Thai places and Indian, some Chinese and things like that, but there's not a lot of different options. There's not a lot of Caribbean food. There's one place that's like a Caribbean fusion. Sometimes we wish there was a little bit more. Before I give you my next thought, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. We're thinking we might do like a Q and A of all the questions. Anything about the Venice, Northport, Sarasota, Inglewood area, let us know. And that way we can help a lot of people, not just you with your question, it'll probably be a question a lot of other people have too. Another thing that I do like about being in Venice is that I don't feel unsafe. In Orlando, I felt like I always had to be very aware. Not that I'm not aware here, but it's just a little bit more relaxed. For sure. And I think that comes back to the small town feel. I even remember sometimes when we were in Orlando and you'd be in a store, all of a sudden like people would come up and just start talking to you. Then you're just like kind of like uncovered, like, who are you? Why are you? Why are you talking to up me? Up in my bubble. <laughs> so yeah, you're not really gonna get that here. I'm not that it could never happen and no one would ever do it, but I've never seen that. And just the people in general with that small town feel comes a lot more of that tight knit community and just you feel like you can trust people mm -hmm. a little more easily. Even if someone starts talking to you it's not like you're thinking okay like what's going on it's like that's the culture that's the community here people will start talking to you while like in a big city not just Orlando but a big city like people don't typically just approach you and start talking to you. So when they do, it's like, okay, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> One thing that I think we maybe didn't fully understand before we moved here, I think we did realize in winter there's more traffic and it's slower <laughs> moving, which we thought, oh, this is gonna be great because Orlando was so crazy, so hectic, all kinds of different drivers, crazy fast, crazy aggressive, crazy slow, people, people that don't that know where, don't know where going. they're going. We were like, oh. It's gonna be so nice. People just drive the speed limit here, and yet, oh, and that's great. I still do like it, but I don't love it, mm -hmm. especially in the winter. Now that we live here and you actually have somewhere you need to go and you're not just here visiting for the weekend, it feels a little different when you got three lanes of traffic and everyone's driving exactly 45 miles an hour and that's what the speed limit is or slower. Oh, I agree with that too, especially like we have to be somewhere at a certain time, like we have to take that into account. Like, okay, can we get there, maybe leave our house 20 minutes before so that we can actually get there if we're lucky five minutes before. That being said, there's gonna be a lot less fluctuation the travel time compared to Orlando. Mm -hmm. You could take 15 minutes to get somewhere in Orlando and it could maybe be up to 35, 40 minutes here. You're looking at adding like five-ish five minutes. minutes. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal. Another thing that I don't think either one of us knew before moving to Venice. Uh, I've heard of it. But how bad it could get. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah. the extent. It's red tide. makes you not want to go to the beach because it smells so bad. And not only that, but like for me especially, like I'd start coughing and then like I get like something like in my 
nose, like it hurts. The other time we drove there and you got lightheaded a little bit. So it's like, and it's not just like those symptoms, but like you can actually get a respiratory in infection. A lot of that's dependent on the person. Like for me, it doesn't bother me as much as I feel like other people, it's just the smell is kind of annoying and gross to me. Some people, you know, it could be t potentially really harmful for you, especially if it's asthma or things like that, yes. then it's gonna be a pretty big issue. That's one thing that they've been kind of dealing with in the summers when it gets hotter, not 100% sure what causes it. Some people think it's just pollution being dumped in. Some people think it's all the people in the water with suntan lotion, but whatever it is, it has becoming more and more of an issue in the summer months as the water gets warmer. One other thing I think on the beach side of things, I don't wanna say it's any better or worse than I thought it would be, but it's different. What we would do on the beach, like before we moved here, we didn't really know a lot about the shark, to, prehistoric shark tooth, hunting and looking for seashells and things like that, that that would be such a fun thing to do, experiencing the different beaches. I think with this kind of a tangent, but the amount of stuff we would like doing outdoors, nature-wise, parks, going on walking trails and how much there, there was of that, I don't think we really realized that until we started really digging into the area and like, okay, well, what are we gonna do as soon as we move there? Cool thing about it too is that the trail are like meant for you to go and just relax if that makes sense like just enjoy your walk it's not like hiking and you need water and you're getting all sweaty it's like more like oh, okay like let's go for a walk you could go for a run if that's what you're wanting to do but I think just being able to go for a walk somewhere outside of your neighborhood it's kind of cool one thing that our dog if she could talk <laughs> I can talk would say that she loves about Venice is that there is a dog beach where your dog can actually be off the leash on the beach. Not only that, but the city itself, it's very welcoming to dogs. They'll have a little bowl full of like little treats for your dog, water bowls like pretty much all over downtown. When we go to a restaurant and we take her, they'll actually bring her a little bowl of water with like ice in it. So like, that's kind of cool. And I don't know if this is a thing here or not, or people just let it slide, but I've noticed a lot of people bring their dogs into stores like Home Depot and stuff. Or maybe like an emotional support dog because there is a lot of retired yes. veterans and things like that here. But some people just, I don't think, they're a retired veteran necessarily, and they're just, they're just, and just bringing their dog. yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's cool with me because yeah. it's never been an issue. It's not like it's a naughty dog barking or mm -hmm. having accidents in the store. It's typically like like dogs that are well behaved. Not that it couldn't happen, but I don't think I've seen any dogs that are barking at people for walking around. Extremely dog friendly city, which for us is big because we love our dog and we like to bring her as many places as she can go. She likes to she come likes with. To come with. <laughs> One thing that I don't think we realized was such an awesome thing about Venice until we moved here is the wildlife. The different animals, turtles, box turtles, uh, gopher tortoises, all the different tropical birds, heron, and just, I don't know, half of them, I don't even know what they are, but they're awesome. They're just cool big white birds and whatever other color, lizards. Armadillo, you don't like the, some yeah. of them. Alligators? Yeah, like alligators or even dolphins. Manatee. Manatees. There's just a lot to see throughout the area. It's actually a bird sanctuary city, meaning you can't shoot birds anywhere here. So because of that, you're gonna see a lot of different birds. They even have the rookery, a lot of birds there. So there's just a lot of different options as far as places to see animals. We have a retention pond behind us in the backyard and there's always something mm -hmm. going on there, whether it's fish, turtles, birds. Alligator. Alligator. <laughs> and an otter too. That stuff's exciting. And that's another thing we didn't really realize, having the pond behind us. Oh, whatever, it's just some water. It's nice to see, but no big deal. But no, it's actually really awesome just because mm -hmm. of all the wildlife in it. So. Final verdict. Do we regret moving to do you? <laughs> No, I think it was a good move. I feel like we're always on vacation. That makes sense. I mean, like we both have jobs. We both work during the day. Sometimes we don't even get to the beach during the week, but that's okay. When we do actually get to enjoy, it's like we're not in our hometown. We're on a vacation spot. And it's so nice to have that convenience. For me, do I regret it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. I love it. I will say though, I think you do too. I miss a little bit of the big city amenities that we got from Orlando, which whenever we go to Sarasota, I, I will say sometimes we're like, oh, maybe it'd be nice to live a little closer yes. to here. But at the same time, it's not that far of a drive to get up there. So when we do, that's like another like little vacation getaway. That's always fun. For us, that's not a big deal. Where we're from in Wisconsin, we were already making that drive 15, 20, 30, even 45, 45. minutes to go to a bigger city. And we were doing it in winter sometimes. 
difference. And here it's like no snow. If you're looking to move to the Sarasota, Venice, Englewood, Northport area, I am a realtor. I can definitely help you find a home here. Information for that will be in the description below. And also links to some more videos that maybe you might find helpful. Hit that like button if the video helps you out. It means a lot to us and helps the video get out to other people because the YouTube algorithm says, hey, other people want to see this. Subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos and live breezy. breezy.